Hello and welcome back to the um, Split Level House Let's Build series. Uh, this is basically the final episode, and in this episode here, we're just going to be doing a bit of landscaping, and uh, that'll pretty much be it. So, let's see. I'm trying to think what would be the best approach. I guess I'll go ahead and start with pressure plates. So, we're just going to kind of use these to um, create something of a perimeter if you will, around the uh, front of the house here, and that's basically just going to be the uh, start of the garden in the front. There we go. So, let's see, so there's that, and then what I think I'm going to do is just make another little plot kind of here in the middle of the lawn, and that'll be that. And let's see, so this is where the... Um, where the uh, house's lot ends, or the property line, I guess you could say. So, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff, and uh, I guess to start we could put down a couple of sunflowers, and maybe some lilacs, and peonies. I think I'm going to do the sunflowers in the front garden here, and of course they face the other way. And uh, lilacs. Lilacs, let's put these kind of on the corners. And one in the center there, too. So, let's see, what else? I guess we'll get some oleums and uh, tulips to go along with these. And uh, an oleum, pink tulip, and let's see, I guess we'll go with both for this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw down a couple of these in front too and clear the inventory again. And I'll go with some of these, Azur, Luates, I don't know if that's how you pronounce them, it's probably not, but those Azurs and uh, Poppies and I guess maybe Oxide Daisies too. So again, we'll just throw down a couple of these randomly in this front garden. There we go. So that pretty much takes care of that one. And uh, let's see. I guess we could do that again up here. And then basically just bone meal the rest. So yeah, I think that's just what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Here is the bone meal. Let's get rid of this stuff. And there we go. So that's basically, let's see, all these blocks are filled, alright. So that's basically the gist of the uh, landscaping. Let's go ahead and put in a tree here. And I'm going to do this um, as kind of one of the taller trees. Hopefully this will work. Uh, it seems kind of hit and miss, but um, at the same time it also uh, seems to work reasonably well most of the time. Of course, it's not a hundred percent, but um, I think it'll do. So let's see. Hopefully, we'll get a big tree with this. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I didn't. I guess we'll just leave that. That's fine. And I'll go ahead and put in a garden around that too. And let's see, I have that two blocks, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and just throw down some more stuff randomly. And uh, just clear my inventory again. Get some tulips. I haven't used the orange ones yet. And some dandelions, too. Maybe a rose bush. Just kind of scroll around, put these down. Actually, let me go ahead and move that over here. And, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I, I, I try to refrain from, uh, using the orchids outside of potted plants because, uh, they're kind of sort of an exotic flower, you know, they're kind of finicky in terms of, uh, what they need to grow and stuff, and, uh, Unless you're in, like, California or Hawaii or somewhere like that, I don't really see them working in um, just the everyday garden setting. I mean, obviously, it's Minecraft, so you can take some liberties, but still. 
Alright, so that's basically that for the uh, little garden side driveway. And uh, let's go ahead and kind of mow the lawn here. And for that I'm just going to use green wool. And we're just going to do solid lines of this, kind of alternating every other row of blocks. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do to add just a bit more pizzazz to this house. Because at the moment, I can't really think of anything else. This would be a lot easier if I had a program like uh, World Edit, but being that I have no idea how that works, uh, I don't know. So let's see, we're just going to go ahead and repeat that process on the other side here, and then eventually in the back, and I think I'll actually just off-screen that because this is a pretty simple, monotonous process, and uh, kind of stink to have to watch the whole thing. So, before I do that, let me just go ahead and throw in some potted plants uh, around the front of the house. We're going to go ahead and use an orchid for one of those, and... Uh, I guess a jungle sapling for another. So we'll put one in front here, another one here. There's the orchid, jungle sapling, and then maybe one more pot underneath this lamp. And for that, uh, I really wish you could put the um, the big pots, the big plants into the pots, but oh well. I guess we'll just use a cactus. Actually, no, I... I don't really like the way that kind of connects with the bottom of the light there, so we will just use a fern, I guess. That'll be fine. Here we go. So that's the front of the house, basically. And, uh, yeah, so let me just kind of mow the lawn in the back, and I will resume, and we'll see if there's anything else we can do. So I will be right back in just a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, did the lawn in the back here, and what I'm going to do with this little gravel area is basically just throw in a couple of uh, grass blocks and some ferns to kind of give it a bit more of an organic, uh, used almost look. So it's like it's not quite perfect, you know, it's not just uh, uniform gravel and nothing else. So one more thing I'd like to add, um, well, actually, two more things. One would be a couple of uh, pine bushes, I guess. Because these were kind of a popular feature back in the day as uh, kind of like privacy. Sort of um, privacy, not fencing per se, but just, uh, just to give a little bit of cover to like decks and house windows and stuff. We'll just throw in a couple of those. Maybe one more over here. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to do was a little shed in the back. So for that, I'm going to use the blue stained clay, stone uh, blocks for the floor, and uh, let's see. Let's use some quartz stairs, and uh, let's see. Well, I guess the closest thing would probably be the stone block stairs. There we go. So for the shed, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. It's pretty simple, basically only two blocks on the inside. It's a little rectangle type shape. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a glowstone block so you can see this a bit better. So we'll go ahead and bring this up basically two more blocks, or one more block rather. And let's see, actually no, let's go ahead and bring this three blocks high. Make it three blocks high, rather. So we'll put these two doors on the front. And uh, let's see. Just kind of put on the quartz to uh, basically accent the white on the house itself. And I think I'm just going to do the roof a bit differently how I was originally planning. And, uh, let's see. Now, I think I might actually just redo this here. I hate to kind of go back on what I've already done, but it's just the nature of things sometimes. So let's go ahead and grab quartz slabs and uh, stone slabs, if I can find those. There we go. 
So we're going to do double blocks of these. And actually, you know what? Again, I hate going back, but uh, let's go ahead and just make this two blocks tall so that uh, it's not excessively tall. Because most of these sheds were pretty, you know, small. Uh, especially relative to the houses themselves. You know, I had one in the backyard of our old house, and uh, I want to say it was probably only about five foot high at the tallest, kind of like at the peak of the roof. I mean, it, I guess at least on the inside. But yeah, so that's a basic shed. Uh, I guess we could go ahead and put on a window just for the sake of letting in a bit of light. And uh, maybe some more of these pine shrubs around it. And that will pretty much be it. So, I think I'm going to uh, just go ahead and sleep in the game here. And uh, then I'll resume and we can have one final look at the house in the daytime. So again, I will be right back. So this is basically what the uh, finished product looks like in the day, or at least early morning in the game. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done here. I think this was, what, like four episodes? Uh, about, took about an hour, I want to say, all told. I don't know. So as you can see, it's a fairly simple uh, undertaking building one of these houses, and uh, they're you know they're actually pretty fun. You can do a surprising, uh, surprisingly decent amount of stuff with the front facade and the landscaping and all that. It's a very uh, pleasant, workable house, and I think it'd be a great starter for people looking to get into uh, suburban-style buildings. So, with that having been said, thank you for sticking with me. If you're uh, if you're still following on episode 4, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back with some more uh, Let's Builds and Let's Furnish series uh, very soon. I'm looking forward to that, uh, hopefully, just about as much as you are. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you enjoy, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or a favorite or whatnot. Um, thank you very much for watching again, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next episode of whatever series ends up being uploaded next. See you then.